I'm watching a, a video before work. Uh, I should be actually be at work, but I got sucked into this. Uh, it's called the Singularity or Stuart Hameroff on Singularity One on One. Conscious consciousness is more than uh, more than something. Anyway, I can't read the whole title. Uh, more than computation. That's it. <laughs> but he's talking about uh, microtubules and quantum mechanics and how uh, they now believe that consciousness is a an aspect of quantum mechanics, which I've I've thought for some time myself. Uh, I read a paper where they observed uh, proteins and neurons folding using uh, quantum positioning. It was skipping, uh, skipping states, going from a straight to fully folded or multifolds way too fast and without enough heat. So they were they were skipping quantum positions, uh, which is an effect of quantum mechanics. So none of this is new. Uh, none of this information is going to cause us to get new superpowers. This is how we evolved in the universe. This is how the universe works and how our brains have taken uh, uh, the opportunity to use these uh, effects, quantum effects. So this is everything we've already had. Uh, he was talking about monks and consciousness and how consciousness has been described as, a, as singular events in a row. So it's not this smooth uh, arc. It's it's more pictures, and you're experiencing the now. A lot of Eastern meditation and Eastern uh, uh, thought goes very very similar to this. But you're you're experiencing consciousness in definite places. So like pictures, and the amount of pictures is, I, I guess, would be a, an effect of the amount of your consciousness. And they say 40, the, they measured uh, flickers in awarenesses, in meditators, and in uh, EEGs and uh, anesthesiology. Uh, they've measured the hertz range. And about 40% or 40 hertz uh, per second is, or per minute, per second, I'm pretty sure it's per second, uh, is standard consciousness. And they tested some monks that were really good at meditating and they got up to the 90s in their hertz and the reason i'm making this video because I'm, I'm not saying anything new i could just send you this link and and you can watch it yourself but i'm also relating it to the tests that they did on people that were falling uh or had a a panic moment uh you know I don't know if you ever did this when you were a kid. You jumped off the roof, or you jumped off high places, and while you were jumping off, time seemed to slow down, and you could hear the guy mowing the lawn down the street. You could see a bird fly away. You could see all this stuff, and it seemed to take a lot longer to hit the ground until, of course, just before you hit the ground. And I'm wondering if this might also be a quantum effect or a, a Hertz effect. Not the hitting the ground, megahertz, uh, where when you're in a super excited state or a super conscious state, hyper conscious, you get more pictures per second, and that's why you're experiencing more time. Is because you're experiencing more resolution because of your heightened frequency. Yeah, that's how I'm starting my day. Peace. <laughs>